All right, hello everyone and welcome back to another IU Recreational Sports at Home Workout. My name is Hannah Wilson and I'm a program assistant for group exercise. Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. This is a circuit style boot camp workout. So it's gonna resemble HIT, except we're gonna be moving around in different locations a little bit more. So you are gonna need a little bit more space than we would for probably some of our other workouts. The only equipment that you're gonna be needing today is something to use as a mat. I just used a yoga mat, but if you guys have a towel, blanket, carpeted floors, those work as well. As the weather is starting to get nicer, this is a perfect workout to take outside, but you totally do not have to. If you have a little bit of trouble hearing the music, our Spotify playlist will be linked down below. I hope you guys are ready to have so much fun with this one. I really enjoyed it. All right, let's get into it. All right, it is time to get started with our warm up. Starting with some chest openers here as I'm just walking back and forth. Warming up to the chest and the back. Focusing on giving ourselves a big hug as we come in. Do make sure that you've got some space. We are going to be going in between two points today for a lot of our workout. Next, taking it to some arm circles. I am alternating going forward and backward as I get in between those two points. We'll start with them a little bit smaller and then gradually make them bigger. Start feeling this in the shoulders, maybe a little bit in the back. Perfect. Next, we're taking it to some Frankenstein. So, reaching opposite fingertips to opposite toes. I want you guys to really focus here on a straight leg. It is okay if you can't get that leg super high up. I know I can't. But we want to make sure that we're engaging the hamstrings here by keeping that leg straight. Beautiful. Almost there. Strong core here as we crunch that leg up. All right, next I am taking a standing crunch. We will be doing this a little bit later. As the elbows come drive down, and we need one knee up at a time. Beautiful. Warm up to the core here. Walking lunges. We are going to take these a little bit later. And I'm adding a twist to the side of the knee that's coming forward. If you can, try to not bring the feet together as we're coming in between. That will make this a little bit more difficult. But if the balance is an issue, which I know it can be for me sometimes, totally feel free to take those feet together in between. And you will notice I've got two 90 degree angles forming in my knees here. Chest should stay nice and tall. I got lots of lower body for you guys today, so we are definitely spending a lot of time warming up the lower body here. Or just. We also want a lot of that weight to be in the front heel as we're doing that. So imagine you've got like a bug underneath that front heel that we want to squish down. So for our workout today, I've got three circuit sets for you. And each of them are going to have two stationary moves and one traveling move. So we're going to do 30 seconds of one stationary move, 30 seconds traveling, 30 seconds of the next stationary move, and then 30 seconds back into that traveling move. All right, I know I've got some dumbbells there, but you do not need dumbbells. I was just trying to hold down my mat. So we are getting into our first stationary move here, which is a lateral squat with a crunch. So you can certainly take that crunch out if you want to make this a little bit easier. You can see I'm taking that crunch out here. But we still want to make sure that toes are pointing forward and we're only coming as far over to the side as we can until our knee is directly over our ankle. Gorgeous. All right. We are moving into our traveling move here. This time it is just a run. I know it sucks. I know a lot of us don't like running, but it is so good for us and it feels incredible. Only 30 seconds here, so find your two points. Get that hand all the way down to the ground here. Good. Oh, 
almost there. You will notice I'm checking my watch a lot today. I want to make sure that we don't have to run for more than 30 seconds. All right, so second stationary move here. We've got a full push-up with a Superman. So you'll see I'm coming all the way down to the ground, taking that Superman to engage the back, and then pushing all the way up. So I want you guys lowering as far down to the ground as you can here until we get into that Superman position. If you'd like to take that push up on your knees, you totally can do that. You can also just isolate this with the Superman if that feels better. All right, guys, back into that run. Second set here. After this 30 seconds, we are gonna take a 30 second break and we will repeat this. Come on, keep going. You guys are killing this. Push, push, push. Make sure that finger's getting all the way down. All right. We are done with our first set of circuits. So like I said earlier, we've got three circuits today. We'll have a little fun finisher at the end. But we're going to repeat all of the circuits twice. So we're going to start back with that lateral lunge, but do it on the other side this time. That lateral squat, I suppose. How are we feeling? Good. Three, two, one. Back into that lateral squat with the crunch. Again, if you'd like to take the crunch out, you can totally feel free to do so. Could be a little bit lower intensity option. Working into the obliques and the outer glutes. This is one of my favorite moves to get my heart rate up. Beautiful. See if you can get a little bit lower. And remember, we're only coming as far over as we can until our knee is directly over our ankle. Back into those runs. Let's go, guys. Come on. We love running. We love it. Attitude is everything here today. I promise our traveling move isn't running every time. Getting it over with early, right? Almost there. All right, back into our full push-up with the Superman. So coming all the way down to the ground, Superman, and push back up. Again, if you just like to isolate this with the push-up or just with the Superman, you can feel free to do that as well. I really like this move where we come all the way down to the ground because it forces us to really work on our chest as we come up but it can be a little bit more comfortable with our joints. So again, if you'd like to take this on your knees to make this a little bit easier, you can. All right, one more set of those runs. Let's go. Oh, I'm definitely slowing down a little bit. I know I was tired. I know we are all tired, but you guys are capable of this. Keep going. Last little run today. We're going to take a one minute break after this. Push, push, push. Good job. All right, make sure that you grab your water, get a drink. You guys can definitely see it was super windy this day, but I could not miss out on some of the in Indiana. Also, I'm very sorry to my supervisor, Chris Arvin. I know I'm wearing a Yankees hat, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right, are we ready for our second circuit? I think I'm ready. Oh, yep, there comes the moves again. Someone needs to stop me. 10 seconds left. Get ready. So like I said, with that last circuit, we are going to repeat this two times. Three, two, and one. We have got a split squat here. Also known as maybe a jump lunge. If you'd like to just take this as alternating reverse lunge, you can do that as well. We only want to send that back leg like, back as far as we can until we get to those two 90 degree angles. You can take these as fast or as slow as you need. Just 
focus on trying to get all the way down in between. 30 seconds. All right, so our traveling move this time is just gonna be some walking lunges. We're really isolating that lunge move. You will see I'm focusing really hard on trying not to bring my two feet together in between. That is gonna make this a little bit more difficult. But if you'd like to bring your feet together in between each lunge, that will make this a little bit easier, especially with our balance. 30 seconds here. Bring that ass back like a boom, 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 boom. Good, 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 good. If you guys have a dog or a weight that you want to carry around with you, you can totally feel free to do that. All right, so our next stationary move is going to be a panther plank with alternating shoulder taps. I am first showing this in tabletop position. That's going to be an easier option. If you can, levitate those knees off the ground. That is going to be so much harder to really engage the quads. We can also just take this in a basic plank position if that feels better. But you will feel this in the shoulders as well. If you want to just hold this plank for 30 seconds, you can do that. All right, back into those walking lunges. Focus on squishing the bugs underneath the front heel. Chest is nice and tall here. Chin up. Killing it here. Also, I want to warn you guys, I accidentally did the panther plank again because I forgot that I had already done it somehow. So we're doing it again, yay! So again, find whatever plank position is going to work best for you with those shoulder taps. I really like the panther plank where we levitate the knees off the ground. Focus on engaging both our core and our quads. Whichever plank position you are choosing, make sure that we've got a strong core, strong abdominals, and a straight line all the way from our neck down to our ankles. All right, I'm taking that 30 second break. Make sure you grab a little bit of water. Oh, I look so dead. It's okay. Hope you guys are loving this. And are ready to do it a second time. about halfway through feeling good guys here we go three two one split jumps here again if you just want to alternate with those reverse lunges that's a great option as well just focus on two 90 degree angles with our knees chest is tall this is really testing my balance good all right Walking lunges here. Good job. 30 seconds almost over here. Hope the lower body is feeling it, burning out here. Back into that panther plank, or what other, whatever plank variation you'd like to take with your shoulder taps. Focus on keeping those hips nice and steady as we tap for opposite shoulder. I'm showing all the different options here. Just find which one's gonna work the best for you. Oh, all right, walking lunges. Again, like I said, if the lower body is feeling a little bit too fatigued right now, definitely focus on bringing the feet together in between those lunges. That will make this a little bit easier for you guys. And if you want to make this harder, you can add a weight, holding that at our chest or towards our sides. If you are choosing to hold some weight though, make sure we focus on keeping the shoulders back to keep our chest out. All right, we have made it through our second circuit. So we're gonna take about a minute break here to get some water. Time to hydrate. All 
I like to say this in my group exercise sessions a lot. If you guys can, I like to aim for drinking a whole bottle of water during my workout and after my workout. It could be any combination of those two. We want to be fueling our body the best we can here. All right, 10 seconds. Then we are heading in to circuit three. This time I am taking a good morning with a standing crunch like we did in the warm up. So this is going to be our first option. With that good morning, legs are staying pretty stationary here, focusing on engaging the back and the hamstrings and the glutes to pull us back up. So I want super strong core here. Raced abdominals. If you'd like, you can also totally take the good morning out and just do a bunch of those standing crunches pretty quick. That will make this a little bit more of a cardio move and get the heart rate up a bit more. Good job. All right, I'm gonna show what our inchworm looks like here. This is gonna be our traveling move this time. I can usually only get in about four in the 30 seconds, so just do whatever you can. First, just walking the hands out into a plank position and then walking the feet back in towards the hands. Focus on getting all the way into that plank position. That is the most important part here. So straight line all the way from the tip of the head down to the heels. Oh, good song. Heck yeah. All right, so our second stationary move here is going to be a supine plank. I'm showing a little bit easier option here, which is going to be kind of a crab position. This supine plank is going to focus a lot more on targeting the back part of our arm, and it targets the glutes as we have to keep our lower body up. Oh, you can see I'm dying. I love these. So just 30 seconds here. Good job. All right, back into that inchworm, our traveling move, 30 seconds. Again, it's not about the number that you can get in here. We want to get into that full plank position. Good. This is our last one. Finish strong. All righty. I'm going to take about a 30 second break here and then do that again. Someone needs to not let me dance. I do this. If you guys are self isolating with a family member or roommate, I'm going to recommend doing this with someone else. It makes it so much more fun. All right, three, two, one. Back into the good mornings with the standing crunch. Again, you can take just the good mornings or just the crunch if you'd like. And there's just the crunch, that higher intensity cardio option if that's going to feel better. On that good morning, I want a very straight back here. Good. Almost there, almost there, and then we're getting back into that inchworm. All right, here we go. Walk out in that plank position, and feet come in towards the hands. Again, you can see as I come into that plank position, my butt is coming down so that I've got a straight line. Nice, flat, neutral back here. Good. Maybe try for one more. And then we're heading into that supine plank again. Let's go. That was not so bad. You will also notice when I do this, my fingertips are pointed towards my feet. That will make this a little bit more comfortable. So again, the easier option is going to be that crab position. Focus on keeping the glutes up here. You will see my feet are a little bit more flexed here. Good. Come on. Keep going. Last one. There we go. All right. Finishing strong. 30 seconds in our inchworms. Good. Full plank here. Almost done with circuit number three. Three. 
two, and one. Good job. Alrighty, guys, to finish up, we've got a super fun stair set here. So 30 seconds of toe taps to start out. So if you guys don't have stairs, you can totally do this without. This is not necessary. We can slow these down a little bit for a lower intensity option. Or we can totally just take some step ups here. Focus here is just to get the heart rate up. I also struggle a little bit with my coordination, so this helps me. Having the staircase there is just a good marker to make sure that we get our feet up. Good job, 30 seconds, and then we're gonna head into some power incline lunges. That's what I'm gonna call them. These, I definitely have to work on some ankle stability here. So coming back into that lunge and powering the back leg up. Again, you'll see 90 degree angles. And my knees. Don't want that front knee come over the toe. 30 seconds here, and then we'll switch to the other side. Good. I think I got in about 12 reps on this side, something like that. Take these as slow or as fast as you need to. All right. You will notice this is a poor side for me with my balance and coordination. And I thought I had a bee on my leg the whole time, so... Good. Focus on getting that back knee down if we can. Working on some hip flexibility here as well. And if you want to take these without the stair, you totally can. All right, we are going to do that one more time. Right here, I roll my ankle. You can very clearly hear it, I think. And so you're going to see me limp in in a second. But I did it a second time just for you guys. But you will notice I'm a little off on my balance in the next set because of my ankle oh yep there's my nice little one <laughs> all right after this last set after we do those toe taps and the power incline lunges again then we are done we are going to cool down you guys are doing awesome how are we feeling if you're doing this with a partner give them a big old high five three two and one toe taps Oh, yep, you can definitely see my ankle is hurting. There we go. I'm going to take that step up option here. Good. Find whatever's going to get your heart rate up and feel good here. All right, power incline lunges, other side here. Again, trying to get that back knee down as far as we can. It's okay if you can't quite get it all the way down. We are working on our hip flexibility here. But really want to focus on powering through that front heel. Push that bug into the ground. You got a $100 bill under that front heel. We don't want that $100 bill to leave. No. All right. Other side. 30 seconds. Last 30 seconds of work. And then we are going to stretch it out. The best part. I'm sorry, we're not going to make it all the way through the Drake song. It's okay. Good job. Almost there. Woo! Oh, yeah. Alrighty, time to stretch it out, guys. We're going to start out with a quad stretch on one side. So, bringing that heel back to the glute. Keeping the knees together here and into a hamstring stretch. Make sure our chest is nice and tall here. Head is staying above part. Awesome. And glute stretch other side here. I've got this post to give me some balance, but if you guys want to work on a little balance challenge, you can totally release. Stretch other side. Sit back until we're feeling that into our booties. All right, I am now taking a side oblique stretch to one side. Focus on still maintaining a nice strong core here as we do this. Those fingers 
fingers to the front, push out, puff up through the back, and then we will switch to doing that in the back. Up stretch. I'm sorry you guys can totally see this. Elbow coming up overhead. Thank you guys. I hope that you guys really enjoyed that workout as much as I did. We are really happy to be bringing you these videos and have been taking your comments very seriously. So there is a comment card on our website if you'd like to know, let us know what you think or you have any feedback, any suggestions or things that you'd like to see. In addition, if you need some tips on working out at home, trying to stay healthy, we have an option on our webpage to ask a personal trainer a question, and they will get back to you to try to make this time the best they can for you. Thank you guys, and we will see you next time. Bye.